Bow ties on everything. Jesse, what it do? Shout out 40 Water, you know we riding mayo and mustard. These custom though, red stripe Vogue ties. Call this sauce and sour cream, you know what I'm talking about? Red stripe, red stripe. Everything custom Vogue tie, got a red stripe. Everything custom Vogue tie, got a red stripe. Everything. Customizing cars has been a part of my life since before I was old enough to drive a car. You see the nice cars driving down the street, you don't realize sometimes the effort they put into fixing them up. Sometimes they'll take a, a car that's raggedy, junky, and they'll completely give it a makeover, and, and it looks fabulous. So sometimes when all you see is the finished product, you don't see necessarily what goes into it. So me, I'm into the slabs. The slabs are, you know, how we call our cars, a specific type of car here in Houston. Uh, how we fix them up with the wheels that poke out, the candy paint, the trunk that goes up and down, of course, the Vogue tires. You know, all these things is a checklist for a slab. You gotta have these things on a checklist for it to be a slab. The slab community, we are our harshest critics. Wait till you see us with the other car clubs. We're definitely doing a lot of trash talking. And, you know, it's like a, a, a detective out there. Well, they're, they're like searching hard for every flaw. Hey, you got a scratch right here. Hey, hey, why you ain't cleaning? Hey, hey, you know, you, uh, this, this light over here isn't shining as bright as this other bulb. You must have changed this bulb. You didn't change them at the same time. I know what corners I cut. So if you cut a corner, I'm like, oh, you cut the same. I know what you did there. I know you didn't, you didn't paint your door jams or whatever, you know, whatever. I grew up on the northwest side of town. I've kind of moved and lived all over the city, which just gave me a great perspective on how people see things and how things are. This is where the cycle of the car culture intersects with just day-to-day -day life and me being a musician. When I was young, when I would listen to music, we would listen to it in the car. We wouldn't listen to it on AirPods. There wasn't AirPods, there was Walkmans, but the Walkmans had cheap speakers. They wouldn't even cover your ear. They would just be some cheap old speakers so where you couldn't really feel the music. You could hear the lyrics, but you couldn't feel the music. In the car is where there's speakers in the front, on the side doors, in the back, so you can really hear and feel the music. And when you're driving down the street and that bass is knocking and you can feel it, it's just, a different experience listening to music. Vogue tires has always been the elegant aspect of the car. That's the pristine, where you can have a raggedy car, but you got some Vogue tires on it, it's okay, yeah, you, you look all right, you look nice. You can keep your car dirty, but you can never have your Vogue tires dirty. That's one of the things where you got a clean car and dirty Vogues, it makes your car dirty. If you got a dirty car and clean Vogues, your car is clean. So make sure you keep your Vogues clean. I'm gonna be riding Vogue till I'm dead. They're gonna put them on my casket. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Vogue tires were always something that you could always rely on and count on. They're always gonna be there for you. So just when you see that, you know, elegance just driving down the street, you see a car on Vogue, it's one of those things where you get thumbs up from the preacher. The preacher, like, oh, I like your car. You know, the older ladies are like, oh, I like your car. The youngsters are like, hey, man, your car look clean. So it's just one of those things where everybody respects the car that's on Vogue. The car dealerships, they didn't get into the, the rims, the aftermarket rims early on, but they did get into the Vogue. The Vogue was something that they got onto early. They got hit to the Vogue early, and it was just a blessing for us car enthusiasts because you want something that's from the dealer, this name brand that you know you're not going to have issues and problems with. All my Vogue's are red stripe Vogue's right now. It just sets your car apart from everything. You know, it just tests it up to another level. It's just the, you know, the elegance, the just pristine, just, yeah, you gotta have Vogue's on your car. Every car that I drive, every one of my family members, we all got Vogue's. So, you know, of course, my wife got Vogue's on her truck. So it doesn't matter what car you drive, no matter what color it is, no matter what kind of wheels you got put some Vogue's on it and it's gonna have you looking right. No matter what you have on a slab, if you don't have Vogue tires, then you're disrespecting the slab game ultimately no matter what. So no matter what you do, if you don't have Vogue tires on your car, there's no way it isn't even close to being a slab. So the, the most important to me, the most important crucial aspect of a slab is the Vogue tires.
everything custom bow tie, got a red stripe. Everything custom bow tie, got a red stripe. Everything custom bow tie, got a red stripe.